Hello everyone, welcome to Rays of Hope, Rainbow Light, Love and Healing Tarot, and welcome Cancer, how are you? Happy Valentine's everybody. Yes, and of course Valentine's is every day. We don't need Valentine's to celebrate love or no love, right? So this week, uh, my meditation before this video was all about the challenges of love. That's what this reading is going to be about. So if you've just arrived, thank you so much. Help me build my channel up. Channel, I'm new here. If you'd like, subscribe, share, and comment. And to those of you who have returned, thank you so much for helping me. And uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do. So let's see what's going on with cancer this week. February 12th, okay? And usually what I do is uh, I like to do it every 12 days, the love readings, to give enough time for processing. The angel messages are timeless. So everything, you know, in tarot is timeless because energy is timeless. It's not fortune telling, not for me anyway. And so know that the angel message also are guided messages of different topics as well for all of you who have not um, been here before. And so let's begin this reading now for you, right, for our Cancer. And let's see what's going on with Cancer today. All right, let's see what's going on. This is the Relationship Energy Cards, Oracle Cards, Sacred Geometry, beautiful imagery. Let's see what energy is threading this reading for you, Cancer. Okay, so here we go. A lot going on, I am sure, in the world. <laughs> Our sensitivity is heightened. Okay, so for Gemini, what is it that's threading this reading? Reflection. The energy of reflection supports our growth through the insights we get from the con contemplations of self and others. So it tells me you've been doing a lot of deep searching. What is it that you want? What is it that you're changing? What is it that you're looking for that's missing? There's, you're doing a lot of good in, inner work, Cancer. And really, really good, good, good strategy, okay? So let's see, uh, let's put these over here for now. And now what we're going to do, we're gonna pull the Maru cards. This is the phases of love. And this will give us an information on where everyone is. Now this reading is for everyone. It's not just for people who are in relationship, okay? This is for those who are not in a relationship, who maybe are man trying to manifest and healing one of the past, someone who's just met someone, and someone who's been in relationships. So these cards here are the Faces of Love Oracle by Maru. There are 75 cards. She had, Her cards are usually 75 to 100, and they're a little expensive, but you're getting two for one. <laughs> Anyway, so let's see what it is that is the phases of love here for some of our cancers. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. You'll never, oh my goodness, let me read this. It says, divorce. You'll meet someone that is divorced and possibly has children. You'll have to decide if they are worth pursuing. Okay, so that's all right. That's okay. Reflection. Perhaps this is what you're reflecting about. Perhaps. This could be someone that is wonderful but is divorced and has children. And yeah, it's something to think about. You know, there's a lot here. So let's just keep going. My goodness. Wow, that's really cool. All right, so now we're going to pull her Maruk again. This is the Scarlet Oracle, and this is about the challenges that are here, okay? So some of you may be with someone who's just gotten divorced or someone who's about to get divorced or a, a, a friend that you used to date that is now telling you that they're available. A lot of things to think about, right? From the past, any relationship from the past that is coming back because now they're available. Wow. All right, so it is enough to contemplate on, definitely to reflect. So here we go. Let's see what it is that is the challenge here. And again, even if it's one word that you learn here, if you're not in a relationship, if it sparks an idea, sparks a memory, it's good. Okay, so stay with me, stay with me. Hot and cold, you deserve better than my hot and cold behavior. Hmm, this definitely goes with reflection. So your, 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 your relationship could be in a place where, what kind of signals are you getting? You know, are, is this worth it? You know, wow. So there's a lot of stuff, a lot of um, energy going on here that's, that someone is saying you deserve better. You deserve better. And do you? Do you, Cancer? Are you reflecting on something better, as we said earlier? 
So now let's see what kind of uh, other relationships are going on here. We're going to find out at least three different types here with these cards. It's going to tell us um, where some of these relationships are in reference to these challenges and phases, right? Phases. And when I, when, when sometimes um, divorce to me, it's just a breakup, you know, it could be someone who's divorced themselves from a relationship, not necessarily marriage, right? You could be uh, just broke up with someone, you know, you could have just broken up with someone and that you weren't married, so, or it could be also someone who was. So let's see what it is here that's going on here in some of these relationships with cancer. Okay. It says unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. So some of you are in a hot and cold relationship. Really reflecting on this. Is this what you want? I'm feeling hot and cold from this person. Do I deserve better? Is this too complicated that someone just, maybe they just, you know, are jumping from one relationship to another and now yeah, you're thinking about what do you have in this, right? So there's some of you that are, are, are experiencing this. Okay, honesty, discuss your feelings with each other. So heart-to-heart -heart conversations for some of you as well who are in relationship, okay? Heart-to-heart -heart conversations. And for those who are not in relationship, have you gone through any of these situations? These are the things that you are gonna learn from this reading about how to overcome them and how to be more aware of reflection is important to really bring the past and the present together and really go through it meticulously, you know, so that you understand this hot and cold and you understand that if someone has just divorced or separated or or even broke up a relationship and they're not married but they're coming back to you okay pay it wow the signs are cautioning you pay attention to the red flags so this to me is definitely um a mix of of situations here definitely situations these are relationships that might have been on on a, on a rebound and, 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 and perhaps, you know, there's a reflection now, do I really need to be in this relationship anymore? They're coming back from the past, coming back into my life, they're divorced now, or they just, you know, left a relationship, um, and maybe, you know, there's something better. So now, let's see what the uh, guardian angels have to say. I'm curious, <laughs> I'm very curious as to what their advice is to you. All right, on this, these situations here of unrequited love, heart-to-heart -heart conversations are needed. Yes, got to find out what it is that you both are questioning, that you both are in doubt of. Okay, and the red flags as well. Speak out. Don't wait. Don't make those red flags green or yellow. Keep them red until you have this heart-to-heart -heart talk about what it is that's going on. Okay, so let's see here. Cancer. You are reflecting. I feel it. Okay, here we go. This is the two of thought. Okay, so the two of thought here is this. Let me put my glasses on so we get the full expression of this. You see it? Two of thought. Your angels have noticed that you're not moving forward. Cancer. You have multiple options that you're reviewing, you're reflecting, and you seem to be unable to choose. Ask your angels for signs as to what direction to take, or just listen to your own inner voice. Deep down, you know what to do. Wow, so there is reflection going on on, is this worth it? Yes, am I in a mess with someone who has just done a rebound? or just left a relationship or left a marriage or you know is separated do i need that okay so let's keep going okay this is four of abundance so it's time to reflect upon your relationship with money this is more important for you now are you spending it too freely or are you holding on to it too tightly this can also relate to how you give yourself to others hmm. is your heart open or are you holding back is your heart open, Cancer? Or are you holding back for many reasons of red flags and things that you need to talk about? Your hard work and wise investments will bring great success, though. So to me, this is more about your heart 
being close. You're not opening your heart to this situation because you're reflecting and finding out things that, you know, you're seeing red flags, you're, you're not feeling, you're feeling hot and cold, maybe it's time to move on. Do you want to be in this mess, Cancer? And so know that this Four of Abundance is about holding on to your feelings, but you also need to have this heart-to-heart -heart talk because that's what's keeping you from moving forward and understanding to make that final decision, yes or no. So here we go. And this is, oops, this is the healer of thought under the red flags for some of you who are under that type of situation where you're seeing red flags. Some of you need a heart-to-heart -heart talk to open up your heart and talk about the things that you need to clear Okay, about the challenge here, about maybe it doesn't feel right, and the unrequited love of the two of thought. Really, it's time for you to just really, really go down and reflect like you've been doing to make that decision. And the healer of thought here, it's time to clean up your life. Get rid of anything that clutters your space or makes you disorganized. People who take from you but don't give back should be released as well. You or another person involved in this situation is wise, insightful, and caring, has a wonderful sense of humor, and offers a lot of life experience. So whoever is seeing the red flags you have someone in your life that's helping you see them okay and these are the people that you want right now to help you resolve this okay so this challenge moving on maybe it's time to move on okay so wow this is really deep well you know it's good because you know what you want to get rid of clutter you don't want to hold back anymore you want to find out the truth and you want to keep reflecting until you get the answers yourself right because here it's about reflection diving deep down inside all right so let's see now let's pull some tarot and see where are we here in the mind in the emotional body in the heart in the um, center what is the outcome and what is it that we need to surrender or surrender to okay so let me take these heavy glasses off they make such marks on my on my nose that i think they're forever <laughs> i have lighter ones too that i wear most of the time those i wear um, usually when I do my readings because they're, they're really sharp um, to see. Okay, so let's see now. What is it that cancer needs to see or is required to know if they don't know already, you know? But if you see red flags, any time, any doubt, nothing is worth um, keeping if, it, if it's always questioning. Okay, so here we go. What is it for our cancer? So we put down our, what seated this, what's in the emotions, what's in the mind, what do we need to surrender to, what's in the heart, and what is the outcome. So know that this is for everyone again. Whatever you're learning from this, it's really good lessons for everyone. So. The five of coins. So some of you have been feeling left out. Some of you have been feeling alone. Uh, you know, like this, like you don't have any hope in this relationship or hope in yourself of finding the root or the cause or the reason to leave, perhaps. Um, you're also feeling uh, at a loss as well or whatever you decided was glistening at one point is not glistening anymore. It's not exactly what you thought it was. So now I see how this seated energy has brought us to all of this to the reflection very much needed to reflect to reflect okay contemplation so let's see what's in the emotions okay so in the emotions we have the prince of cups there is someone here um giving some type of uh, it, it's like a naivete it's it's a very immature love you know or immature person or sweet offering you know it could be an apology it could be an apology, um, someone who wants to make an offer in, in a sweet way, uh, maybe even an invitation to a conversation of heart to heart, okay, that's needed here. So let's see what's in the mind. Strength, okay, so there is a definite strength here uh, between you and another or just within yourself, Cancer, to know that you have the strength to get through this no matter how hard it is, okay, pay attention to the red flags or anything that you need to get through and allow others to help you um, garner your strength, okay, to resolve this. Let's see. Now, what is it that we need to surrender or surrender to? <laughs> the tower moment, yes. Let this happen. You can't patch it up, okay? When the tower moment is here, 
that we have to surrender to something that's crumbling. You know, when it's crumbling, you, you, you can't hold it. You know, it just has to fall. And that's what this tower moment is here. In this reading, that's what it is here for. It's like, all right, I give in. All right, all right, you're right. Okay, let it fall. I have to make a decision. So here's your decision, you know, if you haven't made it yet. It's the tower moment letting you know that it's crumbling. All right? And so have to have this heart-to-heart -to -heart talk of unrequited love, of closure, and of any red flags. You need to have this conversation and, and really, really reflect on finding whether it's time to move on or really, really understand how this started in this phase of love that you had. It's not, it's not, it's not happening. Okay, so let's see what's in the heart of this reading. The Queen of Cups, the nurturing energy, the healing energy. This is the heart-to-heart -heart conversation of healing, of opening your heart to someone and letting them know how you feel in this relationship because that's where some of you are. You're not sure, okay? And so let's see here. You're not sure, and so this energy of the Queen of Hearts is very nurturing and healing and very sensitive and very, very uh, intuitive as well. So have that heart-to-heart -heart talk for some of you to find out where are you in this reflection? Where are you in this relationship? You know, very, very uh, interesting. So here we go. And then in the heart is the Princess of Staves. So this is in the heart or the outcome there definitely could be another one coming in. Okay, so this is this is definitely an answer for me. I just got a very sharp feeling that um, once you make a decision of changing something or letting go, surrender to this crumbling situation, there is someone here in the outcome, in the gift, okay, once you get through this. So let's see what the final message is for you, um, Cancer. In this reflection, of energy that's a causing a movement and a decision for you, a very important one. So let's see what the whispers of love are going to give us for you as a final message for Cancer in this reading, February 12th, <laughs> Valentine's weekend. <laughs> Here we go. Let's see, one more shuffle. One more shuffle here. A lot of work going on here. A lot of energy being, being out there. My goodness. Okay, here we go. Turn on your heart light. Reflect on a time when you experience love. So, yes, this is a time to really reflect and really make known to yourself what love really feels like. If you've had it before, then really make the comparison and the reflection and have that heart-to-heart -heart talk yes have that friend helping you pay attention and sort things out because there is strength here in you to find that new person that could come in your life once you get through this okay but you have to let go of the past and let the present and future come forward so i hope you enjoyed your reading happy valentine's day cancer i hope to see you soon again take care bye bye